the good night star. One beautiful starry night, something magical happened, and it happened to a little girl called Megan, who couldn't sleep because she was afraid of the dark. Yeah, nice pink house. <laughs> Megan's room seemed full of shadows and shapes that night. She pulled the blankets tightly around her, but still she felt ashamed, afraid. No. <laughs> afraid. <laughs> Wait, is she in bed? <gasps> that looks like a cat. <laughs> so Megan stared at the beautiful starry sky. The stars always made her feel better. Then, wait, <gasps> she thought she saw something. She rubbed her eyes and she looked again. A shooting star, gasped Megan. She watched as it flew down from the sky, past the moon, through the clouds, getting closer and closer oops, and closer until... Whoosh! It zoomed in through her bedroom window. Wow. Megan chased the star's glittery trail as it twinkled and sparkled all around the room. Wait, little star, she laughed, but it bounced and darted and whizzed too fast. Hmm. Then Megan had an idea. She grabbed her pillowcase and swoop, she caught the star. Oh. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, said Megan. The shadows fell away as its soft glow lit up her bedroom. What shall I do with you, she said as the star wriggled in the pillowcase. Oh, you're beautiful, isn't it? I'd love to keep you, she said, but you can't fly around in my room. Maybe I should take you outside. The star lit the way as Megan quietly crept downstairs. Would you think? Yeah. <laughs> she looked out the back garden. It's very dark out there, little star, she said. Stars love the night, but I'm scared of the dark. The star bounced around happily in the pillowcase. All right, little star, I'll try. Bravely. Megan opened the door and stepped outside. <gasps> Wait for me, she said as the star flew away. Megan laughed and forgetting the darkness, she skipped after the star. <laughs> right, there it goes. They watched the hedgehogs gather and they played hide and seek in the trees. They stared at the reflections in the pond and lighting the garden as they went, they danced under the moon. Then once or twice, Megan even thought she glimpsed at a fairy fl flitting in the starlight. Do you know what, little star? She whispered. I don't mind the dark anymore. Not that you're, now that you're with me. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Then she noticed something sad. The star's glow was beginning to fade. What's the matter, little star? Asked Megan. Are you tired? 
the star flew up a little towards the sky, then sadly drifted back down. Then Megan understood. The star needed to go back home. You've helped me, little star, said Megan, and now it's my turn to help you. Holding the star carefully, she climbed up into her treehouse in the tallest tree in the garden. Above her, the night sky twinkled with millions of stars, but there was a little patch of black. Something was missing. Megan knew it was time to say goodbye. Look, can you see the black patch? Just there. Thank you, little star. You made my wish come true, she said. But now you need to go back where you belong. And she gave it one last cuddle, then sent it soaring into the sky. Look, there it goes. Whoosh! Up the star flew, going faster and faster, higher and higher. The faster and higher it went, the brighter and brighter it shone, until finally it found its home in the sky. Megan smiled and she crept back into her bedroom. There it goes. Oh, look, really bright. Oh, from that night on, if Megan ever felt afraid, she would look for that one star that glowed and sparkled brighter than all the rest. And with her goodnight star twinkling in the sky, she would soon be fast asleep. There. <laughs> Good night, Megan. Good night, star. Oh, that was a good story. <laughs> I hope you liked that. I like that story. That was a nice story.